They said 3 Eye Atlas was just a comet, another icy wanderer. Now, something's different, because for the first time in scientific history, a coalition of respected researchers from SETI, Oxford, is openly asking a question once treated as science fiction. What if objects like 3 Eye Atlas aren't natural? What if they're probes, techno-signatures drifting between stars? Avi Loeb was once alone in that fight. But today, his ideas echo in academic journals and official reports. The taboo is broken, and 3i Atlas is the reason why. This video isn't about conspiracy, it's about something more dangerous. The moment when silence turned to curiosity, and curiosity turned into a call for action. 3i Atlas didn't just pass through, it changed the rules. When Umwamua crossed our skies in 2017, it left no tail, no outgassing, no explanation, just a strange acceleration and a trail of questions. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb was one of the few who didn't look away. He suggested something bold, that Oumuamua might be artificial, maybe a solar sail, maybe a probe, not fact, just a possibility worth considering. But the response was swift. Speculation, they called it. Wild, reckless, desperate. Loeb became a cautionary tale. A scientist who'd gone too far. For years, that was the story. Until now. Because in 2025, a paper appeared, peer-reviewed, collaborative, backed by institutions once silent on the subject. Its title, Technosignature, Search of Interstellar Objects. Its premise, that some of these cosmic visitors might not be random. That they might carry the fingerprints of alien engineering, the paper outlines four classes of techno-signatures to watch for. Trajectory anomalies, unnatural spectral features, geometric shapes, and signals, radio or laser, encoded in the silence. It reads like science fiction, but it's not. It's science, published and endorsed. And while it doesn't claim 3 I Atlas is artificial, it makes something else clear, that we should stop assuming these visitors are just rocks, because if we're wrong, we've already let them pass by. Unnoticed, unexamined, unwelcome. On the surface, 3 I Atlas fits the profile, a glowing coma, a trailing tail, an icy body crossing the solar system at breakneck speed. But dig deeper, and it starts to fracture. Its orbit is retrograde, yes, but almost perfectly aligned with the solar plane, just five degrees off. That's rare, too rare. Most interstellar objects arrive at steep angles, cutting across planetary orbits like cosmic shrapnel. Not this one. 3 I Atlas entered smoothly, quietly, as if it knew the way. Its path takes it past Venus, then Mars, then Jupiter, in that order. Not chaotic, not accidental. The odds of that sequence happening by chance? 1 in 20,000. A statistic raised not by theorists, but by Harvard's Avi Loeb, and reluctantly echoed by others. Still think it's just a comet? Then look at the tail. It doesn't behave like it should. Instead of streaming away from the sun, part of it bends toward it, a sign of larger, heavier particles resisting solar radiation. That's not how normal comets work. And there's the light, too bright for its size. If the nucleus is as small as initial data suggests, its reflectivity or activity is abnormally high. Some have proposed it's coated in highly reflective material. Others suggest internal heat, releasing trapped gases in bursts. But again, nothing conclusive. Then came the spectral data from James Webb, from Hubble, from ground-based telescopes across the planet. They found water ice, carbon-rich dust, ancient silicates, complex organics, the kind that predate our sun. These are comet-like ingredients, yes, but in states rarely seen, pristine, preserved, almost curated, as if this object hasn't just survived interstellar travel. It was built to endure it, a structure, not just a remnant, a system not just a shard. And yet, no one is claiming it's a spacecraft. That's the paradox. Every anomaly has a plausible natural explanation. Each one, alone, could be coincidence. But together, they form a pattern. And patterns, in science, are never ignored. Because maybe, this isn't proof of intelligence. But maybe, just maybe, it's the echo of it. A silent design embedded in rock and ice. An ancient signal, hidden in motion, material, and light, not screaming to be found, just waiting. 
For generations, science feared the extraordinary, not because it lacked imagination, but because it feared ridicule. Saying the word alien in a serious context meant career suicide. So when something strange appeared in the sky, the safest path was always the same. Label it, normalize it, move on. It happened with Oumuamua. It happened with Borisov. It almost happened with Three Eye Atlas, but not this time, because the pattern has become too loud to ignore. Three interstellar objects in just eight years, after centuries of cosmic silence, each stranger than the last, each arriving faster, brighter, more precisely aligned. The odds say this shouldn't be happening, yet it is. And for once, science is choosing to ask instead of explain away. A coalition of researchers from some of the world's most conservative institutions now argue that the door to the alien hypothesis must remain open. That objects, like 3 Eye Atlas, demand more than cataloging. They demand interrogation, observation, imagination. This shift didn't happen by accident. It happened because the tools have changed. Because we now have eyes like the James Webb Space Telescope capable of reading chemical whispers from billions of years ago. Because observatories like Vera Rubin will soon scan the entire sky every few nights, capturing the fleeting, the unexpected, the uninvited. But the change isn't just technological, it's generational. Younger scientists are less afraid, less attached to dogma, more willing to consider that we've misunderstood the rules or that the rules were never complete to begin with. They see objects like Three Eye Atlas not just as visitors, but as opportunities, tests of our curiosity, of our discipline, of our courage to think beyond what's familiar. And they know something else, that sometimes belief comes before evidence, that if we refuse to look for something, we are guaranteed never to find it. So now the taboo is breaking, the old ridicule is fading, and a new kind of science is rising, one that treats the unknown not as a threat, but as a frontier. Three Eye Atlas didn't change the universe. It changed our lens, and maybe that was the point all along. Soon, Three Eye Atlas will vanish. It will swing behind the sun, drift past Jupiter, and dissolve into the dark, another data point in the archives of astronomy. But something will stay, not in the sky, in us. Because long after Three Eye Atlas is gone, the questions it raised will remain, not just what was it, but what else have we missed? How many times have we looked away? How many signals have passed by, camouflaged as comets, dismissed as noise? This isn't about little green men. It's about intellectual honesty, about admitting that the universe doesn't owe us easy answers, that sometimes science requires humility, the willingness to be wrong, to rethink, to unlearn. The old guard treated curiosity like a liability. The new generation sees it as a compass. And that may be the most important shift of all, because if Oumuamua cracked the door and Borisov nudged it open, Three Eye Atlas kicked it wide, not by revealing alien life, but by forcing us to ask, what if? What if we're not alone? What if they're already watching? What if silence is not absence, but strategy? And what if the sky we thought was empty never was? We don't have the tools to answer these questions, not yet, but we're building them. And each strange object that crosses our system brings us closer to a new kind of science, one that dares to wonder, to question, to listen. Three Eye Atlas is already on its way out, but its impact is just beginning. And maybe one day we'll look back and realize this was the moment it all changed. The moment we stopped pretending we understood the dark and finally started paying attention. If you're still watching, still listening, still wondering, subscribe to The Cosmic Unknown, leave a signal. And if you want to support this journey even deeper, consider becoming a member. Right now, it's just a way to support the channel. But soon, we'll begin releasing exclusive content only for those who choose to go further. Because the unknown isn't just something we watch, it's something we explore together.